Hi everyone. We're going to determine which conic is it. Um, the hint should be that uh, it's not a circle because my lead co my coefficients in front of the y squared and the x squared are different. And uh, since they're both squares, therefore it's either an ellipse or an hyperbola. And since they're both positive um, here, that means it's an ellipse. So we're going to go ahead and put this in standard form for an ellipse by completing the square. And I'm going to group these two together, these two together. <coughs> so we have x, let me move it over a little. We have x squared minus 2x, and I go ahead and put a little square or a box here, plus, I'm going to factor out a 4, 4 y squared plus 4y plus box or squared equals negative 13 plus, I'm going to add this box here, plus 4 times this box. Remember you're having to add 4 um, times whatever that is. So let's complete the square, half of 2 is 1, square it, and you get 1. I don't worry about the negative because you're going to square it anyway. Half of 4 is 2, square You're looking at the B part. Half of 4 is 2, square it, and you get 4. And then um, we're going to condense this. So it's x minus half of 2 is 1, square, plus 4, times y, plus half of 4 is 2 squared, and clean this side up, and we're going to get um, 4. This all equals 4 right in here. Okay, divide everything by 4. And finally, we have x minus 1 squared over 4 plus y plus 2 squared, that would be 1 because that cancels, equals 1. So we have it in standard uh, ellipse, elliptical form. And then we're going to just find all this information about it and graph it. So, okay. Um, let me write it out again. We have uh, x minus 1 squared over 4 plus y plus 2 squared over 1 equals 1. Since um, this is in um, standard form and this number is bigger, this is your a squared and this is your b squared. So first of all, my center, and again, you should already kind of know how to do ellipses in general. This is just a review. And then to get our C, that has to do with the foci, because we have uh, two focuses here. We do A squared minus B squared equals C squared. So I'm going to just draw a little box here. So A squared is always your bigger number, which is 4. B squared equals 1. So c squared would be 4 minus 1, which is 3. So your a is plus or minus 2. Your b equals plus or minus 1. And your c equals plus or minus square root of 3, which is in between uh, square root of 3 is in between square root of 1 and square root of 4. So it's in between 1 and 2. All right, now let's find out all this information. Um, my vertices, um, let's do the x part first. So it's going to be 1 plus your a, because the a is under the x. So it's 1 plus 2, comma, negative 2, and 1 minus 2, comma, negative 2 which uh, if you clean it up, that would be 3 comma negative 2 and negative 1 comma negative 2. 
and then for the Y part um, going up and down copy down the one from the center then we have negative two so I'm copying negative two down and adding one and I'm going to copy negative two down and subtract one that's where the plus and minus come from so you get one comma negative one and one comma negative three so here are your four vertices your foci is um, under the bigger number the bigger number is the four which is under the X so it's going to go on the X so your foci is going to be one plus root three whoops foci is a point comma just copy down again your negative two and one minus square root of three comma negative two and just leave it like that and anything else okay length of the major so length of the major is 2a and a is 2 so length of the major is going to be 4 and the length of the minor axis equals 2b which is 2 times 1 which is just 2 and so you have all the information here and you can graph it from there or you can do like I do. I just like to look at the equation itself and graph it from there. So let me write it again. X plus 1 squared over 4 plus Y plus 2 squared over 1 equals 1. I know my center here is negative 1, negative 2. So I go from negative 1, negative 2. So there's my center. Now I'm going to look at this, take the square root of that is 4. So on my x, I'm going over 2 and to the right and to the left. There's your plus 2, minus 2. And the square root of 1 is just 1. So on the y part, I'm just going up 1 and then going down 1. Plus 1, minus 1 from the center. And I draw it. Your foci is going to be on the length of the major axis, which is one, um, it's going to be right in here. So basically it was in between one and two. So it's going to be right about here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And right about there is your foci. Okay. And before, I forgot to talk about it on the other video. The length of your major axis is this length right here, which is 4. And the length of your minor axis, which is a smaller one, is 2. So this is your length of your major. And 2 was the length of your minor. And that's all. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.